Hey, hey guys, we're down here in the dungeon today. I'm going to do a quick and dirty video. What I'm going to be doing today is talking about, well, the A1, the A1 from Bamboo Labs. Um, this is not the mini, this is the A1. Um, you know, I just finished upgrading to the, the new hot hotbed. So I apologize, I didn't do a video on that. I probably should have, but I figured Bamboo already had pretty good video set up on their website that, that had to do with this update and the recall and all the happy stuff but we're here today is we're going to discuss this standalone spool uh recently i got a request somebody said hey nobody's making videos on how to use the external spool so here i am here i am to do the video so let's say you bought one of these and for some reason you don't want to use the ams we're going to show you how to set this up today so you got a couple of pieces that come with your a1 you have this holder and you have this tube this uh tube that came in so this here you're just gonna unclip this and it will clip onto the top you got the bamboo logo here and then you just lock it in the back it just snaps right back just the way you took it apart next you're gonna have your tube you're gonna go ahead and put it right into there You'll put the other end with the spool holder, and then you, you're set up with a wire. Or, sorry, not a wire. Oh, a hose that'll go from here to there. Da -da -da. Let's go ahead and turn this bad boy on. And it's also, we will do a test print while we're thinking about it. I got some leftover film in here. I think that's enough to do a Benchy. So, got a little bit of leftover film in here. We'll put this on the spool holder, and then you can start to feed it into this, just right through there. I'll feed it all the way down until it goes in. So, what makes this different than the AMS setup? I've got to figure out how to get this warning, this recall warning off. So, right, let me see if I can get it in here real good. <laughs> All right, there we go. Okay. Well, let's see this update and then we'll come back to this. Alrighty, so we're back. Firmware is updated. Let's see. All right, so, so what you're going to notice here is one of the things you're going to want to do is you want to go here, you want to go to your filament setting. And you're going to see that it's all set on external spool. Now, it's going to be set on external spool as long as your plug is not plugged in. This is the plug that uh, is for the AMS light system. So when that's not plugged in, it's going to read an external spool. So you're going to go here, you're going to click load. Uh, filament type is unknown, but it is required to perform this action. There we go. So we got to put our filament type. We are, whoops, we are not that. Uh, we are PLA, generic. You know, we can pick a color, why not? Let's go orange, because we can. It's going to go through this, this, this checklist here. So we're going to get a message and it's going to tell us basically, please observe the nozzle of the filament has been extruded. Click done. We are going to go to our nozzle. Let's see if I can... Now the filament is coming out. So let's click done. <laughs> Push new film in and look at All right. Oh, oh, here it comes. Here it comes. I don't know if you can see that, but it's starting to feed. After you click done, starting to feed the orange stuff out. Oh, that's going to look good. Yep. Perfect. Little booger. But yeah. 
you can see here, let me get this up here so you can see it, that we purged our filament. Okay. So what we're going to do now is we are going to go to print files. And let's find one of our classic defaults here. Go with the old Benchy. There it is, Benchy. Do a print. We'll do a test print there and then uh, check it out and see how it does. All right, so here you go. You can see this thing just Go on to town printing that Benchy. I'm pretty sure I'm going to have enough filament to finish that. But, you know, like I said, I just want to show you guys. Look, it's going. It's doing its thing. It's going as fast as it is supposed to go. We're about halfway through the Benchy right now. Uh, one thing I would like to point out that I forgot to mention earlier in the video. Um, right here, you want to make sure off of your AMS you got this little clip that holds all the hoses you definitely want to make sure you remember to use that for these wires that go from the tool head over to the the piece over here where it plugs in for you know the camera and everything else you know basically the electronics portion of it uh, because if you don't this wire will be hanging down all over your bed and get caught in there and it'll it'll be a mess i'll just say i almost had a mess so we're learning things together guys Anyways, um, thanks for watching. I hope this was helpful to those of you that were looking to see how to set this up. Uh, anyways, like and subscribe. Talk to you later. Peace.